welcome back to what songs probably sound like. The series where I cover a song without ever hearing it before, and at the end, we compare my version to the real version, and we see what I got right and what I got wrong. But today it's we, because I have a very special guest, Mike Rooney, coming in to help me figure out what this song, Imploding the Mirage, by The Killers, off their new album, Imploding the Mirage, is probably going to sound like. So we all thought The Killers were going to drop Imploding the Mirage at the end of May. But did that happen, Mike? No. No. No, it didn't happen. So, Mike, what do you think this song is probably going to sound like? I would normally go right ahead and say, okay, they're going to end the album Imploding the Mirage on a somber note. But you know what? I'm going to go bold and say they're going to keep the upbeat tempo stuff. Say a minor key, a little sadder. Imploding the Mirage seems very, like, dissident and uh, and kind of like you know, kind of like the desert where they claim to be from. So why don't you guys check out what our guest sounds like? And then we'll reconvene here in about a minute, and we'll see what the killers imploding the mirage actually sounds like. We're in the desert once again. Question myself, can we call ourselves human? I might be dancing now, but they'll leave me for dead. Tonight. Hello, mere mortals. Tis I, the omnipotent b -b 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 Birdman of Eastern Peru. Subscribe to Nick Perez Music, and subscribe to Mike Rooney Music, or else you will suffer a terrible, terrible fate. What this fate may be, you may ask? You will turn into a bird minion of mine and be forced to wax my rear end and all the rear ends of all the other omnipotent, omnipotent, omnipotent birdman spread out across the globe. I suggest you subscribe to Nick Perez music and Mike Rooney music unless you want lots of hair, lots of short hairs surrounding your talons for the rest of your day. Goodbye, my pretties. <laughs> so, Mike, before we react to Imploding the Mirage, anything you want to say about our guest? If you want to hear the full version of this song, um, I'm putting out a single a week from now, which we actually took the instrumentals from this version on, and an entire album will be out um, sooner than later, hopefully a month or two. So you can follow me at Doggy on Instagram. That's with a Y, not an I-E. Uh, to check out that album, but I'm just excited to be here on what songs probably sound like. Cool, man. Well, we're excited to have you. So, um, why don't we hear Imploding the Mirage? Mm. Rescue, rescue. Do a it's upbeat, dude. It's upbeat. So far, definitely on the same vibe with the rest of the singles on this album. Very feel good. Mm. I'm going to stop it. We said yeah. Imploding the Mirage in our guests, and they said it in the song. So that's one point for us. One point, let's go. One point. <laughs> Glad they went to that minor. It reminds me of another killer song and another song from the 80s. It has that like kind of production style, but also like not super cheesy overproduced pieces. Out of the five songs I've heard so far, I think four of them have this exact like tempo. He's doing a lot of like Elvis inflections. He's a huge Elvis fan, Brandon Flowers. Mm -hmm. Oh dude, look look at those that vocal effect, but it's almost like an ode to their older stuff. Wow. That was pretty cool at the end of like fading drum fills. To carry out the album. It was nice. Totally, I mean, they're never probably going to close a show with this song at this point in their career. 
Where I could see this being like the main set closer and then them coming back for the encore. Battleborn, on Battleborn, was the same way. They they kind of ended their main set with it because it actually does have like a really like somber outro. And Mm -hmm. would you necessarily end a whole show with that? Maybe not, but definitely at least the main set. I really liked it, man. Yeah, I, I, I liked it. Again, it's not my favorite killers. None of these are my favorite killer songs. Nothing will ever beat um, uh, Smile Like You Mean It. You really like Wonderful, Wonderful. I do really like one. Okay, that's not my favorite on that song, on that album anymore. I like uh, The Caution. Or the, no, sorry, The Calling. Oh, dude, The Calling's really, really good. Um, he also wears a gold jacket when he does it, too. I know, he's father ass kicker. Nobody yeah. <laughs> knows what that means, but... Um, it just, just, you know what, for all of our listeners, it just means he kicks ass, that's it. You don't exactly. need to know who it is. Yeah, and he's a father. Do we do the vibe scale? Oh, dude, I, I think we should do the vibe scale. Gave it the one point that we it had imploding the mirage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Should be like half a point. I give it I give it a qu- I give it a quarter of a point. Yeah. Well, okay. You know what? Let's give ourselves three quarters of a point because sometimes it doesn't happen. Like in Dance mm. Macabre, they didn't say Dance Macabre. That's true. That's so, true. That was wrong on the vibes. So as far as upbeat, I think we nailed it. As the major minor key, this song was, in fact, a major key, right? It was a major key, yes. Yes. Okay, so we got that wrong. But I think the upbeat get kind of made up for it. How many points on the vibe scale? This is out of 10, right? Uh, let's make it out of 17. You know, we could have gone somber, but we went upbeat. I think we should really give ourselves some credit for that. Five and a half, six. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Five yeah. and a half or six out of 17. This is my rating. Ready for that? Three quarters out of 17. <laughs> our guest added well, nothing like the original. Vibe of the song. I don't think our songs vibe similarly mm. enough. Like, like, you know how you can throw on like a, a Hinder song and then throw on a Theory of a Dead Man song and it's like listening to the same band because mm. the vibes are very similar? Am I allowed to drop the title of this actual song? Yes, of course you are. I think Mike Rooney's Fall coming out uh, August 28th. Maybe it fit a killer's vibe, but it didn't fit the vibe of imploding the mirage. I would I would definitely agree with that. I think the minor key in our guess is kind of like the like nail in the coffin. Like that is yeah, kind of it like, is. That's, that's a, it. Like, yeah, it's huge. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a good old thumbs up. Subscribe to Mike Rooney. Check out his stuff coming out. Subscribe to my channel because, you know, I do a lot of what songs probably sound like. And if you like these shenanigans, feel free to share it, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Can't wait to hear the rest of this album. I know, I know Mike can't wait either. He's a huge Killers fan. He might oh, got me hooked up, on the Killers. I'm, I'm going to be up all night. So thanks again, guys. And like always, peace out. The Stratford Wild.